So that then brings us over into clamp tangent. So let's have a look at clamp tangents and we'll just grab the whole curve, but clamped. And the first thing you'll notice is the only difference here is the end ones, these guys either end, so they will remain spline. Oh, that's the difference between those, one of the differences. The other difference is as we come down, it'll sort of, instead of doing a nice smooth transition, it'll just jerk and, and snap across. As soon as we break away from that flat line, it'll go kunk and jerk to that sort of an area. Whereas if you look at the auto tangent, when we do it to it, it'll smoothly go down. It's not so jerky on that in between there. So with clamped, it jerks. And the other thing is when we go above, it then jerks back again. So it's only when we've really got exact same values that it will maintain that clamped value, that plateau sort of a value. Everything else will just remain spline curves, keyframes. So that's a difference between that and auto. And these ones, you know, if you're a really anal animator, it might be preferable for that tangent to be that direction rather than with the auto. It's going to try and keep it very flat. And you can sort of see that messes up that curve just slightly. Perhaps we do want that to just be out a little bit. It's sort of good to remember that auto is not always ideal, but probably most of the time we'll be using it. 